Hello everyone, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about uh, GCSE PE. So I'll start off with introducing myself, if you don't know me already. Um, my name is Miss Channon and I am Head of Hall School PE. And I deliver the GCSE PE, GCSE PE course along with some other teachers in the PE department. Um, I'm going to start off today with why should you take GCSE PE. So, if you have a passion for playing sport, watching sport or learning about sport, this is a great course um, for you to take. Um, especially if you're very committed to competitive sport inside and outside of school, because that's an element of the assessment too, so that's great. Um, and if you just in general have um, a desire to learn about healthy active lifestyles, the human body, um, the psychology behind sport, then this is a great course that offers all of those strands to it, which leads you quite nicely into lots of career pathways that you might potentially want to do once you've left education. So anything from coaching or teaching to sports psychology, sports development, um, anything like that. So down to the fine details, what will GCSE EP look like? Um, you'll get three lessons a week, two classroom based and one practical. And that is because you are assessed in a theory part of the course and a practical part. So for the theory, that's 70%. And you'll cover six topics, um, ranging from all the things that I've mentioned before. Um, and then in the practical, you'll get assessed in three sports, either two team and one individual, or the other way around, two individual and one team. Um, so there is an examination assessment and a practical assessment. Um, and that really is all you need to know at the moment. Um, if you want any more finer details, then please check out the specification that we have put in the handbook. Thank you.